I'm 23 years old, I have a job, I've gone to college, I pay my bills, and I'm perfectly fine. When it comes to meeting hearing people for the first time, my experience is that they always try to talk to me, and I'm like, I can't hear, so they think they can speak louder, but that's not really helpful because I'm deaf. And then they will probably think that I can read their lips. Not all deaf people can do that. Some can. They're really good at reading lips because they've been practicing their whole life. I read lips, but most of the time they have to repeat. Huh? Say it again. Sometimes people say, never mind, never mind. And that kind of rude. Deaf people who want to know what's going on, what you say, don't say never mind to me. I want to know what you're saying. Let help you show it, you know. Then I can help you, help me, help you. And sometimes when hearing people see deaf people signing, they think it means that we're dumb or that the signing is wild or out of control and they don't understand what it actually means. ASL, American Sign Language, is a language. A language that has its own formal syntax, grammatical structure. First, I'd say it's a beautiful language and it's a wonderful way to express yourself. It is a formally recognized language aligned with any other language, like Spanish or French. So is being deaf a disability? It's true, I don't hear certain things that those of you who can hear are able to hear. And yet why should that be the focus on that deficit way of thinking? when instead we could focus on all the good that life brings to people who can't hear, the amazing things that people who are deaf have, as opposed to focusing on what it is they don't have. We are allowed people because we will speak up for our community. We will protect our own. We are not a quiet, subdued people. I identify myself as a black deaf woman. Even with the internet, I'm honey pain. I'm so deaf at the end of the day. Yes, I like to have my airplane. I can't really hear any really, really rich part. So I don't like it <laughs> at all. I'm still struggling with my own identity. I'm fourth generation deaf. My grandparents and parents are deaf. So within deaf communities, we have people of all races and ethnicities. We have people who are gender non-conforming and trans. We have blind and disabled people. Um, we have CODAs, uh, children of deaf adults. Um, so the community is much more rich um, and varied than most people think. There are some perceptions about the deaf community that we are a very closed community and that we're against spoken English and the deaf community is against cochlear implants. Often young deaf people will find themselves and find their identity whenever they become a member of the deaf community where they discover others who are like them. We don't bite. We're actually a very friendly, open, welcoming group. And when a hearing person connects to the deaf community and learns how to sign, it's a beautiful thing. And it's a beautiful connection between that person and the whole community. You know, we can be funny, we use body language, we laugh, and hearing people give us a look sometime. And uh, we have that same, we have that same humanity. Just treat them like a hearing person. 
They don't like the way you talk slow. Like, hey, my li- No, just don't. Just say, hey, my name is Jessica, whatever. I want them to know that we'll come up to them, that we'll talk to them. We can talk about what we like to do, what our names is, that we just want to talk to them. We want to have that chance. And we have to do that through acting and through writing and through smiling. But that's, that's all we want to do. This video is part of a larger series on the deaf community. Here are some of the incredible people featured in this series. Subscribe to catch all of these amazing stories on this season of Untold America. And let us know what community we should cover next.